Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup features the Seattle Pilots versus the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Coliseum. On the mound for the Pilots today is Bob Meyer, whose record is 4-7 with a 4.74 ERA. And pitching for the Oakland Athletics is Chuck Dobson whose record is 9-11 with a 2.95 ERA. Well, we've lost the first two games of this series, and it hasn't been pretty. Uh, our middle relievers have been the culprits. Well, that and our terrible defense uh, combined uh, has uh, caused us to give up the lead a couple of times, and uh, we could not uh, catch back up yesterday, despite... Mike Hegan having four RBIs, he had a, a double, uh, a home run, and he almost had a second double. He was thrown out at second by Reggie Jackson, which would probably never happen. Um, and Lou Pinella hit his seventh home run. So, I mean, our offense is coming through against some of these all-star pitchers on the Oakland Athletics, but um, we just haven't been able to pull out a victory. Uh, we have the final game of the series today, and then there's a day off, so we'll advance uh, a day to get to the... Uh, Angels series coming up. I wanted to point out that uh, this day off is our last day off <laughs> until September 5th. So we're going to play like 30, 45 games in a row um, without a day off after tomorrow's game. So that's going to separate the, uh, the men from the boys on this team. And we'll probably have to uh, continue to um, you know, you do the lefty-righty matchups and uh, worry about the platoons um, as uh, they arrive. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with today's game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, just another reminder that in, in two days, on the 13th, uh, we will be doing the um, 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay, uh, off-season signings, and trades video. Maybe a little bit of a long video, um, as uh, there were a lot of free agents changing teams and a few trades in the offseason as well. We've got Bob Meyer on the mound. He is struggling to get through five innings. If we can get five from him today, he'll get to uh, triple digits in innings pitch for the first time in his career. Uh, and then we have all of our bullpen available. Oh, we did lose Ron Locke yesterday for 12 days. So we called up John Morris, who uh, you may remember started the season in our bullpen. And uh, we sent him down because he was giving up a lot of hits and more walks and strikeouts. But he's the best lefty we had in AAA. So here he is back on the team. Okay, and then our lineup, uh, it's basically the same as yesterday. I think what we're going to do um, for the rest of the way is platoon our catchers. Jerry McNurtney's been great. I mean, more than you could expect uh, from a guy that has a 67 rating. Um, but I think it's time for us to try to, like, uh, go back and forth, try to get Merritt Renu some at-bats. If Merritt Renu doesn't work out, then we'll, we're going to probably send him down and bring up Jerry May, um, who is a competent hitter, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and do our lineup rundown for today's ball game. Batting leadoff, playing left field, is Lou Pinella. Batting second, at first base, is Mike Hegan. Batting third in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup in center field is Tommy Ag. Batting fifth and catching is Merritt Ranu. Batting sixth at third base is Van Kelly. Batting 7th at 2nd base is Gary Sutherland. Batting 8th at shortstop is Freddie Patek. And batting ninth is the pitcher Bob Meyer. Okay, let's take a look at Chuck Dobson. We've seen him a couple times. He's making his 23rd start of the year. 9-11 and 11 with a 2.95 ERA. 118 strikeouts and 165 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 233 against him. Look at how consistent he has been in the four years of his career. 236, 234, 235, 233. Uh, he's got six complete games, one shutout. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. That is his best pitch, rated in 86. 
Three other pitches, all below average, overall rated an 82. The 25-year-old righty goes to arbitration at the end of the year. Let's check his log. Let's see here. Seattle, Seattle Pilots. Okay, so two starts against us uh, way back on April 20th. He got the win, uh, going seven innings, giving up a run. And then he took the loss on May 5th, going seven innings, giving up three runs. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, let's take a look at the defense for the athletics. Solid everywhere. Looking good. Tennis must be out. He is. It's Gene Roof catching today for the A's. What's his arm like? An 85, so way better than uh, the 70 of Gene Tennis. Okay, we got Lou Pinella leading off versus Chuck Dobson. Pinella just absolutely crushing it. Ground ball to third. There's out number one. I believe, wait, let's just uh, check the log here. Yeah, he has home runs in three straight games. That went unnoticed. I thought about it this morning uh, when I was doing the prep work for the game. Lou has had a home run in three consecutive games. He's going for number four today. But not there. Mike Hegan up next. One down. Hegan was the big hero yesterday. Striking out for out number two. And Joe Pepitone back in the lineup. 2-0 count. Pitch low and away. He gets the end of the bat on it. Pops it up to shortstop. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's go ahead and do the Oakland A's lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in center field is Rick Monday. Batting second at third base is Sal Bando. Batting third in left field is Tommy Reynolds. Batting cleanup playing first base is Ernie Banks. Batting fifth in right field is Reggie Jackson. Batting sixth at second base is Dick Green. Batting seventh and catching is Phil Roof. Batting eighth at shortstop is Bert Campanaris. And batting ninth is the pitcher Chuck Dobson. Let's take a look at Bob Meyer making his 20th start. I believe he is one of two pitchers to make all starts so far this season. Right out of spring training anyway. He's 4-7 and seven with a 474 ERA. 80 strikeouts and 95 innings pitched. He walks his fair share. Gives up a lot of hits. Opponents are betting 268 against him. Uh, fastball, we already know. Tops out at 97. That's the only pitch he has. It's rated a 95. Overall at 80. The 29-year-old lefty. Arbitration eligible at the end of the year. Let's see. Has he faced Oaktown? He did. Oh, gosh. He went one and two-third innings. Walking four, giving up two hits. Uh, in uh, Giving up two runs on July 7th. Back on May 5th, he had a no decision going five innings, giving up one run. April 20th, he got a no decision going six innings, giving up three runs. So that's, I mean, we're in our fourth start against him. You pretty much know what we're going to expect here today. Um, hopefully he can just keep us in the ball game. There's our defense. Not horrible. The only real um, issue is at second base as with Gary Sutherland. We trade his bat for his glove. That's fine. Merritt Renew behind the plate today. And Rick Monday leading off against Bob Meyer. Full count. He strikes him out. A pitch at bat, and he just paints the corner. That very easily could have been a walk. In fact, this may actually be a walk to Sal Bando, the old strikeout walk combo. No, one, two count. That pitch was up at his eye level. He pops it up. Right on the third base line, caught by Kelly. Two down, here is Tommy Reynolds. Reynolds, two for four and three walks against Bob Meyer. And he strikes him out, fires it right down the middle for out number three. We go to the top of the second inning. No score, Tommy Ag leading off against Chuck Dobson. Ag Renew and Kelly AG fly ball to center. Yeah, we have our top four batters that we like, and then after that, it's just schlub city. One way ticket. Riding the Greyhound. Here's Merritt Renew. 
Renew, popping it up. <laughs> His batting average down to 171. Two down, here is Van Kelly. And Kelly walks. Good job by Kelly. Anything we can get from these guys is a positive. Sutherland still batting 309, but he does not hit right as well. That's why we dropped him down in the lineup. Two outs, runner on first. Fly ball to right field from Sutherland. Reggie roaming over and making the catch. We go to the bottom of the second. Here's Ernie Banks leading off. Banks and Reggie both hit their ninth home runs in yesterday's ball game. There's the walk. You knew that had to be coming sooner or later. That is the first base runner for the A's. Next up is Reggie. He went deep. Flips it out to left field. Pinella making the catch. One down. Banks on first. Dick Green's up. Dick Green popping it up into foul ground on the first base side for out number two. And Phil Roof, let's take a look at Phil Roof. Now, um, I couldn't really tell you much about his career, but I do remember Phil Roof was a coach for the Tigers. Uh, the bullpen coach, I believe, maybe a bench coach at one point. So I remember him well during that period. And of course, he gets a base hit. There's the first hit of the ball game for either team. That's going to bring up Campy. Um, he's betting 211 versus lefties. We just got to throw it out there. Yep. Ground ball to first. Come on, Hegan. Making the play. We're going to the top of the third. Both pitchers looking sharp. Freddie Patek leading off the inning. He has his average back up over uh, 200. Good job by him. We have to commend that. <laughs> hey, there's a base hit. No, we're not going for two. Bob Meyer. Meyer batting 080. We're going to ask him to lay down a bunt. Wait, what's the stolen base percentage here? 74. Let's um, let's try to manufacture a run. Let's get Patek to second, and then we'll have uh, with a stolen base, and then have Meyer move him along. Now Patek is like two for eight this year, right? On our team. Okay, three for nine. I wasn't too far off. All right, we're gonna send Patek here. Check out a second. Meyer strikes out. And Panilla hits a line drive to center. <clears throat> All right, we go to the bottom of the third. Here's the pitcher, Chuck Dobson, leading off. Dobson batting 0 63. Meyer gets his third strikeout. He's at 46 pitches. He has a high endurance, right? So, I mean, he could probably go seven or eight innings every ball game, but he's only got the one pitch. He's got the curveball, but that mean, wait, are you telling me he threw nothing but curveballs to the pitcher? That's ridiculous. Here's Rick Monday. Don't pitchers just always throw the hard stuff to other pitchers? I mean, they don't do it anymore, I guess. And Bando popping it up on the first baseline. Renu making the catch. He made an error yesterday, a very costly error, error early on. We go to the top of the fourth inning. No score. Mike Higgin leading off. Both teams only have one hit apiece. Higgin takes strike three looking. That's it, a fastball, but I would have called that a changeup. One out. Joe Pepitone. Fly ball to center. Does Pepitone have a nickname? You guys aren't helping me out there with nicknames anymore. Let's see. Uh, does he have a nickname? Oh, it's Peppy. Oh, I like that. Okay, well, we'll call him Peppy. I was going to call him Super Joe Pepitone, like Super Joe Sharpeno, but I, I like I like Peppy. 
Hey, there we go. AJ dumps it down the right field line. He should get a double out of that. Oh, he can't. He can't get it on his low. We're going to send him. Yeah, there we go. Sooner or later, uh, AG saw anyone was going to get a, uh, an extra base. Well, good for AG. That is his ninth double of the year. He's almost got double digits. And he's in scoring position for Merritt Renu. Renu, who is due. He's betting 133 versus right-handers. That's terrible as a lefty. Ground ball down the first baseline, snagged by the first baseman, Ernie Banks. And that will do it. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Tommy Reynolds leading off. 1-0 count to Reynolds and a gapper of his own. Right center field. Oh, we're going to hold him to one. Good job by A.G. Cutting it off and holding him to a single. Let's uh, guard the lines. It might be a little early to do that in a ball game, but we'll give it a go. Ground ball to short. Can we turn two on Ernie? Oh. That's the ball game right there. That is it. Ground ball to third. To get the force at second, we'll pull the infield in for Dick Green. Another ground ball to short. Hold the runner. Don't try to turn two to end the inning. They go to first. That's so stupid. I mean, that would never happen, uh, ever. Now, that run might do. Maybe they are not successful, but they would definitely get the force at first. Obviously, the hit and run wasn't on, because that run would have scored. So, I mean, that's just... It's just bad programming. Two down, though. Off the end of the bat, back to Bob Meyer. And that'll do it, so... Despite all of the ridiculous baseball, uh, we end up getting out of the inning. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Van Kelly walks. That's the second walk today. Oh, man, I wish we could um, hit and run here. We could. Uh, Sutherland is not great at it. I just don't trust it. Um... You know what? We're going to sack bunt. We're going to play some small ball. we got to get one of these um, games here in the series. Is, a, is that a line drive bunt? Oh, it's an error on the third baseman. Sal Bando, gold glover, but he makes the error there. Good job by Sutherland, I guess, laying that bunt down. Now we can't lay down the bunt with Freddie. we got to let Freddie swing away because the pitcher spot is up next. Uh, I don't have a problem taking out Meyer after four. Yeah, you know what? We might actually do that. Let's see what Patek does here. If he drives in a run, then Meyer can bat. If not, then we might just take him out. Here we go, Freddy Patek, 1-0 count. Fly ball to left field. That ain't going to get it done. All right, we're going to pull Bob Meyer from the ball game. And we're going to bring up Don Bosch. Now, he is a strikeout king. You know what? I I'm not I'm going to I'm going to pinch hit Darren Johnson here. Johnson, he just doesn't have a role anymore for us. Um other than versus lefties, but he hits righties well. Look at this. He hits righties 268 with three home runs. So, he just can't get into the game versus righties. Let's see what he does here against Chuck Dobson. First and second. Could be a double play. First pitch swinging. Base hit to center field. Good call. Kelly scores. We're sending him to third. Sutherland safe at third base. one nothing Seattle. I'm the best manager ever. Now we're definitely hitting and running with Sweet Lou. 
Great contact rate. Maybe get another run out of this on a grounder. Base hit to left field. Sutherland scores. Johnson goes to third. Pinella absolutely unstoppable in a pilot's uniform. Okay, now we've got first and third. Two runs in. Mike Hegan up. Definitely not going to hit and run here. Um, there's no point in sack flying because I don't think Johnson would score. Uh, so we're just going to let Hegan, <coughs> excuse me, Hegan take a cut. Full count, walk him. Oh, he dumps it into right center field. Get down. Oh, it's going to be caught. Oh, it's a 50-50 shot. Um, no, we're not going to do it. We got Joe Pepitone up. We got Peppy. Peepee. <laughs> so we're going to let him take a cut here. First and third, two outs. Let uh, Pepitone crank one. Full count. Oh, ground ball to short. Well, playing some small ball pays off there as we take the lead two to nothing. We're going to bring in a reliever here. It's going to be Pedro Ramos. Vote for Pedro. Making his 15th appearance. No record. 131 ERA. Been really solid all across the board. Keeping the walks down. Opponents are betting 2 or 3 against him. He does have a bluey. Three pitch pitcher. Only one said he good is the fastball. Overall, 78, the 34-year-old righty, uh, is a free agent at the end of the year. All right. Well, I'd consider signing him to a small contract. Okay, let's see. Ramos into the ballgame. And it's the bottom of the lineup. It's Campy, Dobson, and Rick Monday. Okay, here we go. Burt leading off. He's a tough out. Certainly hits us well. As he flies to right center field. There's one down. It's going to bring up the pitcher, Chuck Dobson. Dobson, 0-2 count. Striking out on a spitball. Somebody check that ball. Two outs. Rick Monday at the plate. Back to the number one leadoff guy. And a ground ball to Hegan. That will do it. All right. We are moving on to the sixth inning. A.G., Renu, and Kelly are due up. 0-2 count to Tommy A.G. Just trying to make contact, protecting himself there. One out. Here's Merritt Renu, 0 for 2 today. And a ground ball to short. Two down for Van Kelly, who has walked both the plate appearances, I believe. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Yeah, he's walked twice today. So he's getting on base. Good job by him. Oh, did he get all of it? Get out of here! A home run to right field. Big ups from our third baseman. He's having a hell of a game. 3 nothing, Seattle. Two down for Gary Sutherland. And Sutherland goes to right field for a base hit. Do we want to go for two? We do not. Okay, we've got six hits. Now against uh, Chuck Dobson. We've done a good job at uh, being patient today. Other than, oh, it's an infield single for Patek. It had to happen in order to get Ramos out of the game. That's, I mean, that's what the game does. If the pitcher's coming up, they'll walk a guy or whatever to get to the pitcher so that you have to make a decision. Which is just stupid. I mean, it's just dumb. So we'll use this opportunity to pinch hit. We've got tomorrow, there's a game off, uh, day off tomorrow, so everybody can play today. Don Bosch with two down runners on first and third. Only batting 213 versus righties. Oh, that was a nice job there on that curveball. Unfortunately, it's out number three. Okay. Um, 
Let's bring in a pitcher. It's going to be Skippy. Skippy Lockwood making his 18th appearance. No record. A 1-0-4 ERA. 16 strikeouts and 17 and a third. That is very good. Pones are betting 2-27. He's got a save. Um, only pitch he's got that's any good is the fastball. Rated, rated in 81, the 22-year-old righty. Goes to arbitration 1971. Okay. Um, Bando, Reynolds, and Banks, three uh, right-handers, do up. How does Skippy do versus right-handers? Splits. Value 222. All right. Here we go. Sal Bando leading off. He walks him. Four straight pitches. Tommy Reynolds is up. Oh, no. There's nothing we can do about it. So we just got to let it play out. I don't... Oh, that's an error. No, that's a ground out. <coughs> um, how many... Four... So, yeah, that was nine balls to the first three batters. That's not great. Uh, I don't know why Ernie Banks was even swinging there. We're going to play back. We'll give up a run for a double play, but it's Reggie. And Reggie hits righties pretty well, but we got all these lefty uh, righties coming up. So this could be a big... It's, this is a big bat right here. Now that's going to be a foul out. I know it looks fair, but it's not. So, Bando still could have tagged, but the game doesn't recognize that as a possibility. First and third, two down. Tricky Dick Green. Skip, has a, uh, Skip Lockwood has got a chance to get out of it here. One, two count. Fly ball to center. Come on, AG. Makes a catch. Okay. You got to hold your breath on those. So Skippy gets out of it. We go to the top of the seventh with Lou Canella leading off. Lou, one for three. He's got an RBI. And a base hit to left field. Pinella, what is he batting for us right now? Oops. He is batting 385. 15 for 39. 14 RBI in nine games. He's amazing. Okay, runner on first. Mike Hegan up. Hegan 0 for 3. Struck out twice. Oh, and then Lou got caught napping at first. I don't mind when that happens. That is something that does happen. Um, in, in all circumstances, I suppose. Hegan, who struck out twice today, flies out to right center field. And Joe Pepitone... Is over three. And he pops out into foul ground on the first base side. We're going to the bottom of the seventh. Okay. Um, I mean, Skippy can't do worse than he did last inning. So we're going to... It's the bottom third of the lineup. So we're going to leave him in there. I don't like leaving relievers in for more than an inning. But why not? One, two, count to Roof. Strikes out on that slider. Pull in the string. One out for Campy. Campy betting 320 versus righties. And a base hit to left. Campanaris knows exactly how to use that bat. Oh, okay, they're going to take out Dobson and bring in Jose Morales. 340 hitter, basically all pinch hitting duties. That's pretty damn good. At one point, Jose Morales did hold, hold a, a pinch hitting record. Now, will Campanaris be running here to stay out of the double play? That is a possibility. Yeah. Oh, he's caught stealing! Renu throws out the uh, league leader in stolen bases. Well, this is, uh, for once, the game is moguling our opponent. And then Lockwood strikes him out. Paul Lindblad will come into the ball game. He was in yesterday to close it out. Got his second save. 
I don't know why they're bringing him back today. He's a left-hander after all. We have two lefties coming up. Maybe that's why. Here's Tommy A.G. leading off. He walks him. All right. Renu, who's 0 for 3 today, for some reason hits lefties better than righties. Oh, and he does have good contact. Let's hit a run. Let's get one more insurance run here if we can. One, two count. And he does make contact. It's a tapper back to Lindblad. Lindblad. Um, Lindblad. AG advances to second. Van Kelly's up. He's a uh, one for one with a home run and two walks. Does not hit lefties at all. He never plays versus lefties, but we're going to give him a shot. Bad choice. And Gary Sutherland. Line drive right at the third baseman. Bando for out number three. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. We're taking out Skip. And we're going to bring in... Uh, we're going to... We're going to pitch John Morris versus Rick Monday, and then Diego Segui will come in. So we'll give uh, John Morris his first appearance. Uh, this is being recalled yesterday. Rick Monday, 0-2 count. Strikes him out. Good job, Momo. Here is Diego Segui coming in now. Sal Bando. Over two with a walk. First pitch swinging. Popping it up. A lot of pop ups on the uh, first baseline today. That's what the game does. It just does the same play over and over again. Gets caught in one of those uh, Groundhog Day loops. And then Reynolds walks for the second time. Ernie Banks, 180 hitter versus righties. Pardon me. 0-2 count to Banks, and he pops it up. A's have only three hits through eight. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Lindblad staying in the ball game. Here's Freddie Potek. He's two for three today. Really working that average. A comebacker to Lindblad. One out. Out comes Diego Segui. We are going to let Jose Vidal pinch hit. You may remember that we brought him up when um, there was the injury to Rollins. Struck out in his first pinch hitting assignment. Let's see how he does here. Oh, he's going to get the walk. Oh, no. Nope. Ground ball to second. There's out number two. And back to Pinella. Pinella needs the home run to keep his uh, streak alive. He's had homers in three straight games. Two for four today with a ribby. Two-two count. And he strikes out lucky. So that streak will come to an end. And we will bring in Mike Marshall for a save opportunity. He's got Reggie, Dick, and Roof. All right, let's see here. Um, should we bring in a defensive replacement? Why not? We got, everybody's got the day off. Um, so... Kessinger will go in to play second base. That's a little better. Here we go. Reggie leading off. And we could be going for our 12th. We are going for our 12th shutout of the season. Reggie hits a ground ball right at Kessinger. Throws him out. One down. Richard Green. Fly ball to right. This is unbelievable. We are going to have our 12th shutout of the year. Unless Roof has something to say about it. Ah, you jerk. Base hit to right. Runner on first. They're going to find a way to get the Lindblad, aren't they? 1-0 count for Campy. I'll come back here to Marshall. Our 12th shutout of the season. That makes no sense at all. Handshakes, butt snaps, and mistakes.
All right, so we'll take that. As you can see, it's simulating. Only, what is that, uh, 10 days left in uh, for the trade deadline. Uh, we're going to play one right now. Advance one day, the day off. Any trade offers? Not to us. Let's take a look at the standings. Well, there's the National League. Good for San Diego. They got a win. They are 25 and 73 on the year. And while well, the Angels have hit 30, good for them. Uh, we are five games back as the White Sox have lost eight in a row. Let's take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. 3 0 defeat unseats Oakland. So we knocked Oakland out of first. Uh, good job by me pulling Bob Meyer out in the fourth. That pinch hit RBI was uh, by Johnson was a good catalyst. It was, it was a game-winning RBI. Oh, there's nothing. for that. We played two days. That's the only thing. Transactions. Any trades? Anything going on here? Um, oh, no. Well, we got... Okay, let's take one thing at a time here. Carmen Fan Zone out seven days. There you go. 245 hitter. Ernie Banks. We just saw him. He's going to miss a month, more or less, um, due to a ruptured knee. That sounds horrible. Um, and then finally, Rafael Batista of the Houston Astros hits for the cycle as a rookie. So he had a his uh, 16th double, his second triple, his sixth home run. Good for him. That's cool. All right, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep in mind, we got the uh, 1984 Tigers season replay coming up on Monday the 13th. We're going to take a look at uh, all the off-season things that happened between 1983 and the beginning of the 1984 season. Uh, Tommy Ag, Well, who's the player of the game? This is a tough call, right? Um... Van Kelly hit the home run and he walked twice. So he got on base three times. Did anybody do better? Does not look like it. So I guess we're going to give it to Van Kelly. Good job by him. Third home run of the year. We had two caught stealings. Uh, well, Lou Pinelli got picked off. First base, Skippy Lockwood gets the, his first win in the majors. He's 1-0. And, oh. and Marshall gets his 16th save. Chuck Dobson falls to 9-12. and 12. Um, and it was a four-hitter. I mean, that's that's crazy. All right, well, we head home now to face the California Angels. Until tomorrow, everyone, have a great day.